Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to cover this question from Physics Chapter 8, Rotational Motion. Let's read the question. A figure skater can increase her spin rotation rate from an initial rate of 1.0 revolution every 1.5 seconds to a final rate of 2.5 revolution per second. If her initial moment of inertia was 4.6 kilometers um, meters per second, what is her final moment of inertia? How does she physically accomplish this change? Yeah, and we need to always remember that these skaters, that the skaters, um, angular momentum, which is L, this right, um, the angular momentum will be constant. Let's say it's constant because there is no external forces. Wait, uh, external force or like torques are applied to her. It is only her increasing like her spin rotation rate by herself. And so there is no external forces or torques being exerted applied to her. And so the angular momentum is constant. Having that said, we can um, make this formula L initial equals L final. And because L equals inertia times omega, it would be I initial, omega initial equals I final, omega final. And if we um, put this formula organized by having I final on the left side, it would be I final equals I initial, omega initial over omega final. Which we, And now let's um, substitute these values into this formula and it would be I initial being 4.6 kilometer kilograms per meter second, and then 2.5 revolution per second being the final, and 1.0 revolution per 1.5 seconds. And if you could calculate, if you put this value into your calculator and calculate it, the answer would be 1.2 kilograms per meter square. And you can say that she um she accomplishes this by starting by starting with her arms extended, which would be the initial angular velocity, and then pulling her arms into the center of her body, which would be the final angular velocity. And yeah, so this will be the end of the video, and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.